So in today's Minecraft Survival Let's Play, we go back to the kingdom and we're working on one of the previous buildings that I mentioned in the last episode and it turns out to be an awesome build. So make sure you watch until the end and thank you so much for the amazing support. Also, if you're watching my videos like this, take a moment, turn it this way, click that subscribe button and the notification bell and you can go back to watching the video. I'd really, really appreciate it. Let's see if we can reach a thousand likes in today's video. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and like always, check out this random funny video. Pay attention. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I want to say thank you so much for the amazing support everyone's leaving on this series. I do appreciate it. I did read a few of your comments, and I know a lot of you were looking for like a world download, but I think it's way too early to have a world download for episode 10. I think we need to wait a little bit longer, so maybe episode 20, but that means we got to get working on this world. I really have to do a lot of work. And also, I've been reading your comments. I know the mineshaft, I, I, I understand after looking back at it, yes, mineshafts can essentially vary on different levels. Levels, but for some reason it's been such a long time and I honestly thought that that was actually three mine shafts But it, it really is just one huge one. So hey, okay I realized I made a mistake you guys caught on to it and I caught on to it after I was done editing But yeah, that's that's kind of a silly moment for me right there. Oh great. It has to be raining. What's up villager? So what I've done so far is I've added white concrete to make white concrete you need gravel and sand and it's pretty simple We have so much bone meal from our um, AFK farm that essentially I don't have to worry about any other color concrete right now so this is the one that i have uh, the most amount of which is why i want to use it and i think it looks really good for what i'm trying to do with the whole medieval look so you guys can let me know in the comment section but yeah we're just going to essentially keep adding the white powder white concrete as you guys can tell there's going to be a window here so we have to go a little bit higher like that and then we're gonna have to add our window okay <laughs> this is gonna be interesting and place those like that okay perfect so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to add the rest of the white concrete all around the building so you guys can see what it looks like but check it out from the distance i think that looks a lot better just minus the dirt okay uh but yeah i think that would look a lot oh oh i did not mean to hit you golem oh gosh oh no, this is bad oh no he's after me oh oh geez he's actually really mad I i'm so sorry golem i didn't mean to close one. All right, that was really close one. <laughs> Here, I'll give you some food. There you go, Hunter. Let's hope none of the other golems realize that one of them is missing. But yeah, we're going to carry on. I'm going to finish adding up the rest of the white concrete. All right, so I finally finished up adding all the white concrete. I think it's looking really good from a distance, as you can tell. I think it's perfect, and we're going to definitely have to try to do some different type of style concrete throughout. We're just going to add a cobblestone base throughout here, and then eventually, all we're going to have to do at the end of that is just add some different type of stones. Uh, so we're just going to keep leveling this all out to the top all right so we just ran out of stone i figured that was gonna happen i believe we have a little bit yeah we have a little bit more cobblestone left now obviously we're not gonna use all this cobblestone like this is gonna all get removed essentially all right that's everything around the sides now we're gonna do something very similar to what we did over here which is going to be a mix of all types of stone i think that looks best especially with a medieval look and i think a lot of you guys agree with that so let's go ahead and just randomly add some different stone blocks around here so let's just go and remove some first and then we're going to go around and fill them up with some different types of blocks we're going to use andesite we're going to have cracked stone and we're going to have some mossy stone check it out i think that looks good it really also blends in with our wall around the base i think that looks so much better than just having obviously all cobblestone so we're going to add two over there maybe some mossy stone all right let's just add a double over here like that Perfect. All right, so I realized one thing when building the front part, it's actually not going to be leveled up. So we have to actually push it back one layer like this. So we're just going to randomly put some blocks around here. That looks a lot better, I have to say. So we have our spruce door. We're going to plop that inside. Is it turning night, villager? Okay, you're going to have to get out of bed, dude. <laughs> all right, so now that we have all the walls complete, I think this is looking great. Now, the final thing that we have to add around the sides here is going to be some uh, spruce stairs going all the way around. That way we can hide what's underneath like that and then we're gonna have to add some windows like i said this is a full action-packed episode with getting this build completely done all the villagers are liking it i think they're all like wow this guy can actually build it's pretty decent all right everyone so i've taken some time and i wanted to actually design one of the sides of the base so you guys can see what we're gonna replicate on the other side of the building so as you guys can tell what i've done was i actually changed the corner pieces where the spruce oak logs were into barrels i think that is a much better choice my opinion 
Dominion. And I've also added trap doors on the bottom and top of the window area and just added some fence posts and simply kept it very, very simple looking. I've also added these little design towards the bottom of the base and I think it looks really good. Let's get rid of all this dirt. It's turning into like actual grass now too, which is funny. So we're going to go and replicate this same exact side over here. As you can see, nothing else has been done besides the barrels and added the windows. Let's go ahead and place a few more like this. Perfect. And we're going to do the same with the top and all we... Is that even there? Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. And then we just have to... Oh, wait a minute. I should also add fence posts like that. Let's see if I can reach it. Probably not. Let's go block over to the side here real quick. And boom, perfect. So let's go ahead and place them like this. Place the top part. Perfect. At our fence posts. And man, that is looking a million times better than what we had before. Actually, redesign the inside because there is a lot of work to do inside here. It's going to look 10 times better. You know, this is how we're going to leave it. We're done. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But we also have the top windows to add. And let's go add ourselves the fence posts. And we're going to add the trap doors, which it looks like we might not even have enough to finish it all up. We only need eight. I think eight is more than enough for now. Add a little bit more there. Perfect. That is looking absolutely perfect. I don't want to add anything in the middle. I simply just want to keep it looking very basic. So let's do the same with this side. Add a trap door. And we have five more. I think we should be good with adding exactly the right amount. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. I am quite happy with that. Let's add our fence post. And I don't think I want to add anything else over here. Besides, I do want to add a lantern. There we go. We have a few of those. I cannot believe how much dirt I just keep. I just don't like it. I don't like it. I'm probably going to have to remove the trap door so that way we can have a lantern hanging from the top. And that, I think, works perfectly for me. So let's eat up some steak. And let's head on now inside because this villager is going crazy. He's like, what are you doing with our place here? Instead of using spruce planks, make them into spruce slabs. It will give you a lot more if you're trying to build a floor. I'm going to get rid of this bed. I'm going to get rid of your tools too. It's actually important to keep the workstations here. I'm going to keep your workstation in that corner. There we go. We almost lost him. He almost quit. He almost just walked out the door. That was actually pretty funny. He literally was so close to quitting. Um, he even did, I think, for a second, but then we got him back. Now, as you can tell, the top area is going to be a little exposed like that. I don't think we might even add a second floor, but we're not going to do that right away. For now, we're going to add some, check this out. We're going to add some uh, spruce oak uh, ceiling logs. So something similar to like how I've done in the last few builds um, is to add a little bit of an overhang like this. I think this does the trick for most builds. It looks really good, I think, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Perfect and perfect. Oh, that actually worked out perfectly. So check it out. So when you're down looking from... So if you're looking up, that looks, I think, so much better. And we could add ourselves a few more blocks closing it up. But for now, we're going to leave it like that. Now we got to focus on what the heck we want to do with this inside. Earlier, uh, if you guys recall, the workstation was right over here. So we could build him a simple looking uh, chimney. So we can try to do that and have his, uh, for, what's it called? What are these called? Blast furnaces. And we can have the blast furnaces kind of going upwards. So we can try to build him a decent looking chimney. I can't promise you it's going to look amazing, but let's give it a shot. Put the crafting table over there. We're going to use a little bit of cobblestone stairs. Let's see how that would look. Let's grab them actually instead of chucking them out there. So if we put them looking like here, let's see how that would look. Okay. That's actually looking quite decent. Blast furnace over there. And then we'll put a campfire in the middle. And that looks a lot better. And then for the wood that's going around it, we'll get rid of it. And we'll add ourselves a little bit of mossy stone like that. Okay, that looks a lot better in my opinion. Oh, he's back. Oh, wait, this is not the right. This is the, <laughs> the butcher. I don't know why he's over here. Okay, let's go ahead and add a workstation in the corner. We're going to grab the crafting table. Gonna place it down in the middle over there. Thought another one just walked in, another villager. They're all curious to know what the heck is going on over here. All right, perfect. We have a little workshop over here. I wanna grab a few barrels. I think we have a few more. Oh, it's turning night. That's why villager came in looking for his bed. There we go, we'll get some rest. There we go. And I'm thinking of actually removing this one piece here carrying out the slabs going into this fireplace. So check out, I think that looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and actually make these staircases possibly. Let's see how that would look. I don't know if this would look any better, but if you put a staircase like that, that looks actually a lot better. So I'm going to keep that design. We'll add the top part like this. Perfect. All right, that looks a million times better. One barrel like that. And then we'll add another barrel on this side. Let's go ahead and just place it maybe in this corner. And then one more placed like this. 
perfect. That looks so much better. We'll add a barrel over here and then a barrel on the top. Barrel, listen up. There we go. Much better. All right, that is looking extremely nice. Let me know in the comment section. Now, obviously there has to be some type of support over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some spruce. We're gonna place it like this and we're gonna, uh, what's it called? We're gonna strip them. We're gonna do the same thing, but over here we don't really have to since it'll connect like that. Also, actually instead we'll break this, put a spruce block. We'll break down over here, another spruce block and strip those. That looks a lot, oh, he's back. How do you like your new place, man? I think he loves it. I think he loves it. I think it's way, way better than what it was before. And we could potentially remove this block here and add ourselves uh, stripped wood like that. Okay, that looks a million times better. We do have a lantern. So let's go and place one of the lanterns somewhere on top. Maybe we can even place it right there. Oh, this is looking like an actual workshop. I'm really, really happy with this. Now, there isn't much room on this side to put anything, so that's why I want to have it kind of an open floor plan and mainly have everything on this side. So you guys, like I said, let me know in the comment sections what you guys think so far of this whole look. I think we have a few. We only have one trap door left. Let's actually make a few more trap doors. That way, we can add a few more in here and see if maybe we need to. Let's see if how that would look. If we add, we have three trap doors. Let's just use all the wood here and make one more. So we have five trap doors. Let's see, maybe we can add a trap door like here. I don't know if that looks decent. It actually kind of looks, eh, not gonna do that. I think it's fine how it is. We could potentially add a trap door on that right there, make it like a little table. We can even remove this piece, make another table like that, okay? Check it out, and then we can add a little workstation in the corner. That looks, I think, a lot better. Now, I don't think there's anything else that I really want to add in here. We could add a cauldron eventually, but I am extremely happy with the way this looks inside. Let me know in the comment sections your thoughts. I'd really like to see. We're going to finish up the top area. Actually, let me do that right now real quick. All right, everyone, so I've done a few things actually inside just to finish it all up. As you guys can tell, I've fixed the roof over here. I added some stripped oak wood, and I think that looks really, really good for the top part, and I'm really happy with the way it looks, so let me know, like I said in the comment section. I wanted to add a few more just uh, lanterns hanging from the ceiling like that. Uh, that way it just adds a little bit more of a design to it, so we'll just keep it very simple. I think that looks perfect. Now, from the outside, I think it looks great. I think there's a few other details that we can eventually add to it, but in the meantime, Time, guys I am very happy with the way this turned out now the one thing I want to do is I have a few more oh wait do I not okay we have some more bone meal I have one tree that I want to place I want to place it right over here and let's hope for the best oh that's perfect all right we have one tree over there and we're gonna go ahead and add we have so many cats in this village by the way I just noticed so I think that's a normal thing for like if you have like a good village it has more I don't know if that's a thing but there's been a lot more cats around here guys this is looking absolutely fantastic we're gonna add some grass around here just to complete the look real quick like that add a few more long grass around the sides oh this is actually one of my favorite builds so far on here so let's go ahead and just add a little bit more grass but check it out this is the complete and final look i am extremely happy with the way this turned out let me know down below in the comment section and yeah that is going to end off today's episode thank you again for watching leave me your suggestions and if you guys are new make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell i would appreciate it i also want to say a quick shout out to all the new members who are becoming members of the channel by clicking that join button i do appreciate it so shout out to all of you and yeah till next time guys thanks again for watching my name is alex and peace out and stay foxy